Out of all the games I've ever played, I can confidently say that there is no game quite as punishing as DayZ. You could be having the best run you've had in weeks, be carrying more loot than you've ever seen, but it can all be snatched away from you in just one single bullet. That's why very few people last on this game. Most people quit too soon and end up missing out on an adventure they will never forget. And that's what this story is about. A story where I come so close to quitting, but through determination, I end up having one of my greatest stories yet. So let's take it from the very beginning. Chapter 1 Okay, good start. See, now, I don't know if this is a server where people actually interact and talk to you, to be honest. I I'm kind of... I don't know. This might be a very KOS-heavy server. We're not really sure. But my goal is really to build a base. See if I can get a base down. You know, I'm going to figure out a good spot to build. Where is allowed on the server. But we have seriously have joined at quite the time, dude. Like a proper storm, bruv. Before I could do anything, I needed to gather firewood and warm myself up at a fire to avoid getting frostbite. You see, unlike other adventures, this time, my enemy wasn't just other players. It was the environment itself, and surviving the cold, harsh weather wouldn't be easy. Soon enough, though, I was able to start looting and gather some supplies before making my way out of spawn territory, until I reached one of the northern villages, and it was here where I'd be introduced to the enemies of our story. Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna shoot him. Oh my god! There's a freaking huge base here. And there's a base there. Let me see if these guys talk. I mean, this is a very northern town, I will say. I'd be surprised if these guys are being toxic, you know? Hello? Frenny, Frenny, don't shoot. No, 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 I'm cool, I'm cool. Okay, okay, alright, alright, alright. My first death on the server, and it was to no other than a freshborn killer. I guess I got the answer to my question earlier. Is this a kill on site server? Well, so far, it seemed it. And believe me, this was only the beginning. Oh, well, new life, I guess. Now, instead of just respawning elsewhere and starting fresh, of course, I wanted to go back to that same village. Firstly, to see if that play was actually as toxic as he seemed, or maybe he was even a part of the massive base I'd seen. Now, the base is just over here. I need to see, man, if I can figure out what's going on here. That's him! <gasps> He's clueless. Yeah, this is his base. Dude, this this would be his base. He killed me just outside of this thing. What is this? It's like a massive, massive base. Bro. Fuck! Died again. He flanked around. And again, I was killed by the same toxic player. But I still wasn't sure if this guy was a member of that large base. So I returned for the third time. Flags all the way up. These guys are active. I need to know, is this his base? Oh shit! And there we have it. The answer I was looking for. I was shot dead as a freshborn by a guy standing on the roof of his base built right next to freshborn territory. I knew exactly what was going on here and I wanted to get payback. But then I realized, what could I even do? How could one solo player get payback on such a massive group like this? Well, the simple answer is nothing. Or at least, not on my own. I knew if I wanted to take on this group, I'd need some help. But none of my friends were online that day. With no other options, I just ran inland again as a solo. And that turned out to be my best decision. Oh, there's a dead guy here. Oh, shit, he has a... This person's been dead for a while. 
Friendly, friendly, don't you? Friendly, friendly, friendly. Yep. Oh, where are you from, bro? Ireland. No shot, bro. Please, can I talk to you? Please. Come, come, come. I promise you, I have literally nothing. I, I won't do anything. What's up? Bro, have you guys just joined the server? Or? Nah, we was started playing yesterday on it. Okay. I was just up in the north in this in this uh, this town, like the northeast side of the map, and this group just they just killed me, dude, as a freshie, and um, I don't know. I kind of want to raid them to be fair, but. Well, where about is the be their base? Um, so top right of the map, it begins with J. Jal Jalov something. Oh yes, Jalov Vesco or something. Yes, massive base. We'll be down to help you, like, we're shit, but we'll give it a crack. And just like that, I had purpose. Two friendly guys that were willing to help me. We agreed to add each other on Discord and regroup in a couple of days and try to take on this group. Alright guys, see ya. So with a reason to keep playing, I began making my way through Namask, looting military base to the next, complex after complex, gathering as much loot as I could. Okay, we're chambered. And eventually, we made it all the way to the southern mountains, where the higher tier loot spawned, and I was able to briefly check the military compounds, even getting myself a kill. Oh! Oh, I couldn't stick around, so I grabbed what I could and ran far away, because I had almost everything I needed to build my base. All I was left to do was find a safe spot to build it. So I checked my map, and I might have found the perfect building to live in. Through the darkness of the night, I made my way over there, just hoping the building was free to fortify. Yeah, this spot looks like it's free, actually. Oh, bro, this is so cool. I mean, look at all of this. This is definitely going to be the spot. This is a really cool cool building here. This little little hut here. But uh, unfortunately, I don't have everything I need for this. There's a bit more I need. I need a shovel. I need a hacksaw. And I need an axe. Those are the last things I need. So I'm going to have to stash this somewhere. I need to find a spot to, to hide this. And just hope that no one finds it. Because if they do, that's all my progress gone. I also hope that this loot doesn't despawn just by the server. Okay, this is a good spot. With my stash stored safely, it was now time to find those last base supplies. This is kind of cool, this spot here, actually. I can already see someone's trying to build a base here. Is this an actual... Oh, wow, there's a shelf here. Okay. And there's an axe here. Wait, if I find a shovel here, I'm actually... Okay, what the hell? Dude, I found a shovel as well. Bro, all I need is a hacksaw now. Now that I had the shovel and the axe ticked off the list, that saw was all I needed. So I began my search through every shed of Namelsk, even searching as far as Vorkuta City in the far, far north. There's gotta be something somewhere, man. There's gotta be something. I must have checked every single shed in that city, but somehow I couldn't find a single handsaw anywhere. So with no other option, I turned back south to my stash before it despawned checking every industrial shed along the journey. But before long, I ran into trouble. Oh my god, shot in front of me. Two right in front of me. Oh, I see one, I see a guy. Here he is. Shit. Ah, there's two of them as well. Come on, can I make it to this ridge? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna push forward here. I, I think I might have genuinely killed this guy. Yes, I did. There's one dead. Just one more now. But just like that, it was all over. And I know you might be thinking, 
Oh, what does it matter if I died? Everything valuable I had stashed away. But actually, this death was devastating. And soon enough, you'll find out why. As you'd expect, I didn't give up there. I respawned and ran back to perhaps salvage what I'd lost. But it was too late. Oh no. No, I'm dead. No. After a second death, I just had to let go of my gear set and now urgently get back to my stash before it despawned. So I respawned, shared a fireplace with a random survivor, and gathered what food I could before heading all the way down south. But all that time I'd wasted dying and running back to salvage loot came at a massive cost, because as I arrived to where I'd stashed, there was nothing to be found. And I realized, I just lost over a day and a half of progress, and I was now back to square one. But I refused to give up there. For the rest of that day, I tried desperately to recover what I'd lost by killing other players. Where's this gilly guy? He's dead. Oh shit, another guy. He's seen me though. No, no, so close, what the hell? There's so many of them. Oh, dude, there's so many, he has an SVD as well. And this right here was breaking point for me. I know I might be sounding dramatic here, but try and imagine losing two entire days of your progress just because your bag despawns. If that's not a sign to quit, then I don't know what is. So as of that night, yeah, I called quits. I didn't ever want to set foot back in that server. And this is where our story should have ended. But the next day, I recalled that encounter I had with those two friendly players. I told them that I would regroup with them in a few days, and together we would attempt to take on the enemy group that killed me all those times. I realized I had a purpose on this server, and that purpose was vengeance. I also knew I just couldn't let those two days of grinding go in vain, and I certainly couldn't let those guys down. So let me introduce to you the second chapter in this story, Redemption. And I wasn't stepping into this chapter alone. All right, yes, I'm freaking back on this goddamn game, dude. This goddamn server. You know, I decided I I I'm not stopping, okay? I've come too far, dude. I have to just finish this. And I'm going to. But this time, I got a bit of help. And I'm not going to be alone anymore. Now the truth is, if I wanted to reach my goals on the server, I couldn't run around outnumbered as a solo anymore. Especially on such a brutal map as this. So I gathered some good friends of mine to join me, and together, we could reach success. And I headed inland to meet the first of them. Whereabouts are you? I'm, I'm here now, Zedda. I'm in the... Um... I'm in the, like, the glass. Oh, building. I think I just seen you. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, wiggle. Yeah, I see. Yo, let's go. What gun? Do you have a gun? Yeah, I need 7.62 by 3.9. I've got one bullet, bro. Okay, I can give you that. There's oh, eight that's rounds perfect. there. Yeah, that's well, I can just give you this. Hold on. There's an M16. There's some spare ammo for it. Right, super. Thank you. Okay, let's head out, bro. Oh yeah, let me add you, by the way. Oh yeah. yeah. I've had to do that, and you just look for Dave. All right, I got you, bro. Oh, nice, bro. there we go. All right, let's go. Yes, bro. Let's go get killed. Let's go. <laughs> now that I'd met up with my first teammate, Zodak, it was time to meet the rest of the boys. But en route, we stopped off for some extra gear at one of the southern military bases. Dead zombies here, bro. Yeah, I see that, bro. They could still be here. He's in there. He's in two, there. two, He's two, in two, there, two, yeah. two, 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 two. One dead, one dead. Nade, 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 run back, run back. Okay, flash it, flash. Should he's gone in there, he's gone in there. I'm inside. Try and open it if you can and then run. Yeah, I got him. I think I got him through the door, bro. Yeah, he's down. Both dead. Ooh. Holy shit. Bro, he's got a suppressed Winchester. Let's oh, go. An amazing. They're loaded, they're loaded. They're geared, they're geared, they're geared. Yeah, man. 
Oh my god, good shit, man. Good kill. <sighs> okay. Another EMP storm. Let's get in this building up here. Yeah. We looted both bodies and were ready to leave, but first we had to take cover from the storm. We don't want to get down, mate. <laughs> Once it was safe, we left and met up with Zodek's friend Void, who was helping us get a base down. Yo! Hello. And now there were three of us, together we could run to that eastern island where I planned on building my solo base. But of course, there were more of us now, and that shed would be way too small. But Ali, our fourth teammate, had found a perfect little village just east of that island. So we headed there to meet him, and build this base. Right, so I'm thinking the best one, dude, to build at is um, is this brown one. See that brown one there with the with the. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. that's gonna be the best one, dude. I think. Yeah, this is nice because it's on the hill and stuff, but it's pretty small, man. You know what I mean, like. Ali should be in this building. I think he's logged out somewhere around here with a bunch of base supplies. So once we meet him, we can get building. Yeah, I'm 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 in that brown. Yeah, we're coming in now, bro. In here. Yeah, I'm just jumping inside here. Hello. 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 Yo. Yo, oh, bro. Wh which one? Who? Who's who? Okay. Um, <laughs> hey, the one waving is all right, bro. I'm the cool one. Yeah. What's your name in game, Ali? Uh, Bob Junior. Brilliant. All right. Let's get this base down. Oh, dude, storm's coming in, man. Got to be quick with this. Let's get this started. So far, so good, yes. <laughs> Last one. Oh, finally. Let's go. Finally, bro. Oh my god. This is huge. Very nice. Once the first gate was down, we added another just to make sure the space was extra secure. What's that? Eight sheet metal. Eight sheet metal. Oh my god, that's huge. That's good. Nice, bro. Yes. With everything sealed up, we just needed storage now. And luckily, there was a nearby base that I'm guessing got raided, and we were able to take the leftover storage. Oh, nice. And after three long days, I finally had a secure base on the server, and it was a massive relief. I cannot believe it. Three days it took me to get a base down. Now although building this base felt like a big achievement, this only really marked the start of this adventure, and it was now where we could begin grinding. So we headed off on our first roam as a group, hoping to build up our ammo and armory. Yeah, we could just we just head to the mainland, just see if we can get some PvP, build up guns and stuff. Like, any, as much ammo as possible we can get. Take whatever fight, I reckon. Yeah, man. Oh, there's a base here. Ah. Ah. The amount of crates in this thing, dude, look. Oh. Mate, there's a lot of crates in this. I just don't know how much it costs to raid a, a metal. What's his name? The guy that makes those tutorials? I forgot his name. Rav? Wobo? He makes like tutorials on everything. Yeah, Wobo. It's gotta be what he probably know. Yeah. Yeah, he has like videos on that shit. A one gate base with that much storage was just too good to pass on. So we noted the location for later and continued our roam to the mainland. But Void had to log off. So we brought in our new teammate, Tommy. Come on, Tommy. Hello. And shortly after, we got the action we were looking for. Oh, yep. Oh, shots, shots in here, yeah, it's in the refugee camp. Uh. Oh, that's oh. the LAR. We have to push oh. this, guys. SK there. Yeah, we should push this. We should really push this. Get your thing, there's a guy here, guys. Okay. Who's up? Who's a ghillie suit? No one, no one, no one. Guy dead on me. Nice, nice, Lens. nice. Yeah, watch out, though. He might push. Well, he's got I think he has, he has, he has, he's pushing. 
He's down, one down. Nice one, nice, nice one. Nice. Behind you, mate. Good shit, Zerda. You had a la 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 la. Yeah, grab it, grab it. Somehow, we'd already found one of the rarest guns in the game. And in hindsight, we probably should have left with it while we had the chance. But instead, we stayed to kill more players. And that was going to cost us. Oh, go there, go there, watch out, watch out. I'm dead. I'm Where? dead, bro. Where? I'm dead. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. He's at the tents over there. Okay, cool. Oh, you good? No, it's not me. Someone in front of me in the tents. Oh, he is. Where? He dead? He's one dead, one dead, one more, one more. In yeah, the sandbag. Yep, yeah, sandbag barracks. He's dead. No shot, nice. Good shit, nice. boys. Good Thank job. You. Oh, no, oh. there's another one, there's another one. I'm still alive. Oh, no. Are you dead? Are you dead? I'm dead, full dead, yeah. Fuck, man, you guys gotta come back. I, oh, I'm dead as well, wait. Uh, There's no way. Within minutes, our whole squad had been wiped, and it was a disaster. What was so concerning about this defeat, though, was that we were a four-man squad. I wasn't solo. I couldn't use the excuse of being outnumbered anymore. This time, we pretty much outnumbered everyone else, yet we still lost. Maybe we were too spread out, or maybe the other players were just better. I don't know, either way, we'd lost our only gear sets, and the blow this would have on our confidence would be even worse. This was just a fight we could not lose. There must have been at least 10 bodies at that military camp. We had to fight back for what we lost, and Zodak had already made a start. Ah, what a gun. There's three guys out there, bro. I'm dead. Nice. Too happy with that. I'm, I'm 400 meters out, bro. 400 meters out. That's it. Brilliant. Brilliant. What? I was killed already, and not too long later, Zodek, who'd ran back, was killed too. Oh, he got us. But Tommy had now returned to the fight, and another random player. And that random player was a PvP monster, who thankfully did most of the killing for us. Oh, I'm back there now. That guy's just killed another one of them. That Some guy called Grey has just rolled up. He's just killed Lanza he's, and he's, he's killed all of them, him, bro. He's killing all of them. What the hell? He's they called in the freaking final boss or something. <laughs> I've got an SK. I've got Melzer. Nice, nice. He's definitely... They went that way he's he dead. when he killed me. No, he's, nice. you killed Grey! Grey. What do you okay, I'm almost there, I'm almost there, Tommy. But every player we killed, even more players would show up. Okay, here. Oh, he's right here, Tommy. He ran off into the forest. I'm gonna give chase. Oh my days. I'm dead. It was a fight that felt impossible to win, but we kept running back. And eventually, the other players got so busy fighting each other, I was able to sneak in and find myself a pistol, which I'd used to pick off as many of the remaining players as possible. Yes, bro. A few kills later, it actually sounded like the gunfight had finally ended. So I used this as a chance to quickly gather as much loot as I could. And soon enough, Tommy and Ali were back, and together we grabbed every last weapon and bullet on bodies. I got an LAR on me. We've got two LARs now. An SK there. Taking that SK. And before we knew it, each of our inventories were loaded. And there was still more left. Oh my god, so much ammo. Okay, I'm running. I got a load of stuff. Okay, yeah, I've got an LAR on me as well. Oh my god. Yeah, bro, I got a lot of ammo and stuff there. A lot. Anyone got some spare mo's ammo? No, yeah, there you yeah. are. Okay, I'm on out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god, that was intense as hell, bro. Yeah, man, GG's boys, that was good shit. Yeah, we got a. Yeah. Yeah, that was. We, we did well, we did well. You got two Winchesters on your back as well. Oh, dude, this yeah. is so good. That we got a lot of guns from that. Okay, I'm. I'm. Are we all ready to go now? We're yeah. ready, yeah. Just yeah, yeah, just go. Me. I'm damp though, so yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna. Okay, cool. Let's go, boys. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was off. Oh, good job, good job, boys. It's not all yeah, yet, but we good. We good for now. Through the storm and into the next morning, we made our way to the eastern island, and luckily, all got back to base in one piece. We then began filling up our crates with all the spare ammo and guns from that gunfight, but we were running so low on space now, and our crates were 
overflowing with ammo we didn't even need, but instead of despawning it all, we decided to put it to good use. <clears throat> right. Managed to get back to base and drop everything off. But because of all the loot that we managed to get and all the ammo that we got from that fight back there, we might have enough to get through just like just about get through one one gate. If we can find a base with just one door, we might be able to do it. But we did see a base just up here. And we saw it earlier, and it looked like it had a lot of storage, so to be honest, probably our best bet to get loot. Yeah, the shadows right here. You can see the flag is all the way down. So these guys aren't actually that active. So you guys want to hit this? Yeah, I'm on. Let's hit it, bro. We started off using the grenades we had to do some initial damage. Then we moved on to our ammo, targeting the wooden frame, making this raid as cheap as possible. And ten or so minutes later, just as we were running out of ammo... There we go, there we go. There we go, we're in. Got it. We're in. We're in. Oh, look at the guns! Wow, there's a decent amount. There's a decent amount. There's a flag here, actually. Bro, M4 is. M4 is. Oh, SVD, M4. bro. Nice. Winchesters. Loads of Winchesters. Okay, they have a lot, a lot. And that sea chest is really good. I'm just going to grab all the ammo I can. I'm grabbing that flag. We should start moving this stuff now. Like, honestly, we should start moving this stuff now. Yeah. got away with that that was really good yeah that was worth yeah let's just yeah we better get out of that oh, oh, oh no no oh, no, oh, no. Get down, get down. yeah get in a... I'm Once the storm settled, we grabbed the last storage and returned to base. We then placed that new storage, used our remaining nails to fortify the windows, built a couple more gates, and last but not least, added a flag to let everyone nearby know this territory was ours. Bro, so good. Let's go, man. Nice. Hey anyway, guys, whoever's logging off, make sure you uh, you guys just shut all the doors behind you, obviously, you know, you know the drill. Yeah. <sighs> GG. Okay, so I know it may feel like our story is beginning to deviate, but trust me, nothing's changed. That group we met earlier in our story that had killed me over and over again, they were still my target, and I wanted that vengeance. But it wasn't that simple to get. Take the base we just raided. It was only one gate, yet it costed us every last bullet in our base. And no doubt that enemy group must have had at least 10 times the gate this base had if we wanted to raid them. So we had two options. The first option was just other players. We PvP non-stop and build up our ammo and explosives the stressful, repetitive, and sometimes painful way like we saw earlier. Or there's option two. You see, Namowsk is known for many things. Frostbite, beautiful scenery, a Gauss rifle. But there's one thing that overshadows them all. A location like no other, with the absolute highest tier loot on the server sports. But it's not easily accessed. With all the specific components that are required, the risky areas you need to thoroughly check, along with your timing having to be impeccable. And to do all of that without running into other players? It's a near impossible task. I'd only ever really seen pictures or heard stories about this place, but I'd never experienced or attempted the journey myself. And with my goal to get vengeance and raid this group, I would need all the weaponry I could get. So today, we journey to Lantia. The first objective to get to Lantia was Scat 12. This was the most tedious and challenging part of this journey, because we had to travel and survive over 7 kilometers of freezing cold water and broken ice to eventually reach an abandoned submarine called Scat 12. Once we've killed all the zombies and got inside, we need to locate the NAC keycard, grab it of course, and somehow get back with it, alive. 
Okay, so there should be a lot of zombies at the submarine. We need to make sure I've got enough ammo. That's more than enough ammo. And I've got a suppressor here as well. It's already dark, so I need NVGs. Once we were ready, we headed out. And by the way, because Tommy and Zodek weren't online yet, we invited our other friend, Oggy, to help us. All right, let's go. My temperature is flashing right now. <laughs> oh, no. Our temperature would get so cold out there, our only option was to make fireplace after fireplace. And we were only at the beginning. We had so much further to run. Holy ass. <laughs> God, there's so many swims to do. I mean, look at it. As difficult as the journey felt, though, we continued on because this key card was our only hope to reach Lantia. Is it? We've made it, boys. We've made it. Are there zombies here? If they're not here, then they're probably gonna spawn soon. Alright. Ooh. Do you wanna go down here, Argy, or all the way at the back? I'll go, uh, I'll take I'll the go back side. Here. I'll take the back side. Yeah, there's a 60-round mag, mag for you, Josh. 60-round mag? Yeah. Code lock here, landmine? Can't get off on a landmine yet. AK, AK mag here, 101 mag. Whereabouts is this key card? <laughs> it should be around here somewhere. So somewhere in this submarine? Yeah, it has to. <laughs> Boys, it's not here. This is what we've. I think we've reached the in denial stage. It's. It's in. It's in it. You just gotta look at it properly, guys. I'm gonna be honest, boys. It's. It's not here. So what does this mean? Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Actually, we should wait here for a little bit. Because uh, when I was here last time, the zombies started respawning. Maybe like five to ten minutes. After. While you were here. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Wait, yes! This is good! The server just restarted! Oh my god. Oh, we got loads of zombies here, by the way. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, shit. Why are they so far away? The hell? Wait a minute. Play carrier! Oh, no way, really? 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 Yes, don't shoot that one in the chest. Do not shoot that zombie in the chest. Yeah, yeah. Are okay, you guys ready? Yeah, go for it, go for it. I hope this is gonna. This should be here now, surely, man. I've not picked up any loot right now. <gasps> boys, 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 get no. to me, get yes. to me. Yes, yes, yes. Get to me oh, now. Thank God, man. <gasps> yes. It's finally there. Oh my God, huge, bro. There's so much loot in here as well. Yeah, there's a lot of loot. Oh, and a muon detector. <gasps> oh my God, did none of you see this? A KA pulling my butt stocks. <laughs> Two content creators come running over, fucking hell. We should have seen it Thanks to the restart, we got the keycard we were looking for, along with a bunch of other useful items. Now we just had to safely return it to base. So all three of us headed back. And finally, the most tedious and challenging SCAT 12 objective was now complete and we can move on to the second objective, Athena Research. 
to complete this objective, we needed to get to the Athena Research Institute. We then have to locate the main building and get inside of it without running into enemy players. Once we're inside, we breach the basement level and search it until we find the Lantia Pulsar Locator. Once we've got that, we escape in one piece. Sounds easy enough. So we all got ready, and by this point Tommy and Zodek had now returned. So as a group of four, we headed out through the storm to find this vital item. Okay, we need to get over to that building right over there. It's, uh, it's the Institute building. Right. I see a guy over there. Oh, where? See, over there. We're gonna have company, yeah. We're gonna have company over here. Yeah, I see him, I see him. I Let's see push him. over. Let's just push closer. Let's push closer. Guy on the road right now. Okay, yeah, very good, very good. We can follow, we can trail them, we can trail them. Good spot, good spot. Just hope they're not here for the same reason we are, man. For the land here. I don't see anyone, man. Where are these guys? Oh, I see them, I see them! Uh, Mark? Um, um, on my tee, on my tee. Three of them, three of them, three of them. He stopped in a tree. He stopped in a tree, Tommy. On my mark. Tommy? I've hit him once. Hit him twice. I'm pushing down a little bit. Push, push. On my marker. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I killed him. Nice. Good job, good job. Is he one, is he one on me, on me. On you? On you. Where is he, bro? Dead, dead. Did yep. I get him? Yeah, he's dead. One more, one more at least. Oh! Third one, third one is dead. Nice. Good job, Ali. Good job. Good okay. They should be here in the back room somewhere, hopefully. Should be here, I'm looking. Oh, I got it on me. You got it? Nice. <laughs> it's beautiful. Right. That was easier than I thought. Yep. Okay, back to base then, huh? Mm-hmm. Now that the second objective was done, it was time for the next. Athena 2. This objective might have been the hardest, because it was all about luck and good timing. If you recall throughout this adventure, we've experienced these strange storms that have forced us to take cover to avoid dying. Now these were called EVR sequences, and they were vital for this next part. Because to get to Lantia first, we had to get to Athena 3. But to get to Athena 3, we needed to jump into the blue orb portal at Athena 1. But to open that portal, we needed to activate the flax reactor at Athena 2. Pretty confusing, right? Well, to make it even harder, we needed to do all of this during a single EVR sequence. So our plan was to head to the undergrounds of the Athena 2 facility, locate the flax reactor, and just wait for that EVR sequence to begin. And once it does, we activate it and quickly move on to objective four. Are we ready to get in the airlock? We ready? Let's go. And let's go. Yeah, I was looking at the thing, Josh. Basically, once we get to land here, we only have 60 seconds to loot whatever is around us. 60 seconds to loot what's around us. Yeah, but that's enough because it's kind of like a circle. Like, it's, it's basically enough. Okay, Athena 1, Athena 2 should be right here. Good luck, boys. Yeah. Uh, good luck to you, too. Good luck to you, too, man. Did you go inside, Josh? Yeah, I pushed in the other entrance. Okay, I'll get here. We can go through here. You ready? Yeah. Here, lock that, maybe? This one here? Yeah, I'll, I'll lock this door right here. Are you ready, Ogie? Yeah. It's about to be hella dark. Okay, it's clear. Push down the floor. We need to get to... We need yeah, to, get we to, need to That's go. the first basement floor. We need to go down. We need to go down to the third basement floor. This should be it right here. I think, at least. Yeah, that's gotta be it. This is some high quality tech right here. Now that we found the flax reactor, all that we had to do now was wait for the signal from our muon detector. You might have noticed we found it scat 12 earlier. Once it beeped, that meant that an EVR sequence was on its way and we could move on to the next objective. 
So we waited and we waited. I just gotta be. Oh, just please, yeah, we'll yeah. Come on, bro. Yeah, it's coming. Oh, he's coming. Nice. Let's go. Oh, look, we can start it. What look. do you mean? It said start oh. flax reactor. Okay, I think we have to press it now. I think we have to. You ready? Yeah, go ahead. Oh! Turn off your MVG. Look at it. Look at it. Oh! Dude, oh. it's so sick. So that means we need to run to A1 then, right? We have to go now. We have to go now, yeah. yeah. We have to go now. You lead the way, Ali, yeah? You got a marker on it? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Objective four was to get to the blue orb portal at Athena 1, jump inside it, and pray. But to survive past the portal, we'd each need a gas mask. And unfortunately, we only had three. So one of us had to stay behind. Yeah, man, I think this is where we the power boys. Hi, right, bro. Take it easy, brother. Take it easy, yeah, man. man. Take it easy, boy. bro. Got every bit of faith that you're gonna make it. Yeah, we've got this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is sick. I see it, I see it, look. Oh, nice. Oh my god. You guys ready for this? Okay, you go first. Go first, go first, go first, okay. You got this, you got it. Hey, Ali, I'm going next. See you in a second. I'm going, I'm going. <gasps> I can't see anything. He just passed out. He passed out. I'm resuscitating. Oh, you're up. I'm back up. I'm back up. We had made it to Athena 3. We were now so close to Lamtia, but not close enough. There was one final part. Okay, now once we're in here, find the flax flow panel inside A3. Add the Lamtia locator. So how do we get? Do we go up, Ali? Yeah, go up. Now where, where do we go? Let's go this way, this way, this way. Follow me, follow me. Right here, right here. See? This is the one. Oh, I see. Okay, um... Lantia Pulsar. Yep, added that. Oh, access card. I gotta add that there. I got it. Enable, enable flex power. That's it. That's it? That's it. Now we gotta go up. Follow me, follow me. Follow on you, follow on you. Oh, oh my god. Seconds. Play carrier. Oh, nice. M one ten. Not the M one ten. What the fuck? You, can we run along the edge or not? No, no, no. I think we need to jump in, into the portal. You've got about thirty seconds left. Okay, everybody up here, up the ladder, up the ladder now. Okay, I think we need to jump now, Josh. Okay, jump now. Let's go, let's go. Yes, we made it. Freedom! Oh! That's yes, actually bro. so cool. Let's go. Dude. I mean, bro, it was the whole build up. That took hours. Dude, yes. So many hours to get this far. I've got two LAR mags, so now we've got three LARs with mags. Dude, this this has been one of the most fun adventures, man. <laughs> Yo. Let's go. Bro, oh, yeah. I'm so sorry Zoda couldn't go as well, man. <laughs> it's all good, bro. It's all good. Ah, oh. Oh, dude, amazing. Right, back to base, yeah? Yeah, back to base. Yes.
our journey to Lanti and back was complete. It might have taken us 10 or so hours, but it was a journey I will never forget. The tense objectives, the build-up, the portals, things I'd never experienced in DayZ before. And although the loot might not have seemed too impressive, trust me, collectively, we got an absurd amount of loot that would massively contribute to the vengeance I wanted. <sighs> nice. After safely returning to base, we logged off ready for the next day. And that next day had now marked almost a week on the server. And after our trip to Lantia, we were kind of itching for some PvP. So for the next day or so, we made up for lost time. Oh my god! Oh. Die on me! Dead. Nice. Oh, guy, guy there, where marked. He's uh, going in L shape. Another one here! Another one here in front of us towards fire station. It once. He's dead, that guy's dead. Oh, he's, he's hit me again, I, I've killed him, I think. Yeah. Have I killed him? Uh, yeah. Oh, that was a pain. I hit that guy once. Oh, yeah, I see him. One dead, one dead. Yeah, nice. Who's shooting SKS? Oh, no. He's on me. He's on me, he's on me. He's hit once, he's hit once. Dead, what? another dead, another dead. Yeah, yeah, he's dead, down, down. Down, down. Oh! He's on me, on me, on me, on me. Yeah, yeah. My, my mark, my thing. Dead, nice. dead, dead. Nice, nice man. man. Oh, oh two people here, tech. two people here. I'm a marker. Oh, I see you. Yeah. Hey, what? Is he, is he, did he run out? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's dead, he's dead. Oh, you killed him. Nice. Oh, oh shit. Oh. That is really close. Oh, oh yeah, it's right over table. there. Oh, he's right here, he's right here, he's right here. Oh, 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 oh,
they're not in this one. This building's clear as well. Okay, so there's no way they would have left it, just there's no way they would have left this area. So you think they're in one of these houses? Yeah, yeah I think yeah. they're in that house at the top, me, bro, where the zombies are around, to be fair. Well, that barn looking. I was one. thinking the yellow, like the yellow, um, the yellow plank one. Just because mm. the zombies are around there, bro, like. Oh, I see them up, up and hill, up and hill. Where? He's running, he's running now. Okay, let's go. He's running right. So if you look up towards the hill, he's running right. Okay, okay. I see him. There, right there. There's two of them, two of them. You, you ready? Shoot? Three, two, one. Two, one. One dead? Nice, one set, nice. We killed one, but the other one managed to get away. So we just looted what we could from his teammate. Oh my god, he's got a... Dude, this guy's geared. Yeah, this guy's geared. It's not good, man. And I know we live here as well. Okay, well those are the two guys raiding... Well, not raiding us, but looking around our base, trying to jump in. Yeah. I think we're just a bit... We might be limited now, like how long. Obviously, there's a wipe coming, but we might be limited on how long we, yeah, we've got now. I mean, kill, killing two fully geared guys—that's gonna piss them off. They make them back with their group, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. They're probably not gonna be too happy about that, bro. Uh, you see, when two random players run past our base, in most cases, that wouldn't really be a problem. But when those two random players are running around with basic gear sets, like this guy, it almost always means one thing. They have a base nearby, and us killing them right there might have pissed them off enough to come back again. Most likely to kill us for the guns we took from them, or considering they were jumping around our base, they might even come back to raid us. And we certainly weren't going to take any chances. So the next morning, we gathered planks and logs and started building a fort outside of our base. So when they did come back, at least we'd be prepared to defend ourselves. But we were too late. They had already returned. Shit, I see him. Where? He's up on the hill, bro. Um, up on the hill there, but to the right of my marker, bro. Okay, okay. Do I see him there? No idea where he would have moved to, bro. Surely he, he could have sh What? Why would he aim at you then? There we go. Shit, he's on the. He's over Is here that at you? Yeah, yeah, that was me. That was definitely me. <laughs> yeah, I got a little echo there. I'm low. I'm getting hit by loads of. I don't know where from. I'm hit. I'm low. I'm low. Shit, oh, shit. Where was that? I have no idea. I think he's in one of the windows, bro. Yeah. I'm here, I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, I couldn't get in, bro. I was just out in a zombie chasing us. Can you watch my left side, Ali? One second, one second. I'll peek, peek, peek. Oh, I just. Bro, this guy is on something. I don't know if I hit him, John. Dude, Did I, I think he's cheating. He is cheating. He's a cheater. He knew exactly where uh... I was, Josh. He, he quickly peeked around and he knew exactly where I was, Josh. Not gonna lie, he was pretty accurate on me, bro. He was pretty accurate on me, but... Just like we suspected, those guys we killed came back. But this time, they brought a friend with them. And that friend of theirs wiped out all three of us in less than a minute. Almost instantly, we knew something about this player wasn't right. Before we'd even peek a corner or expose ourselves, it felt like he'd already lined up a perfect shot to kill us. But luckily, just before I died, I managed to shoot this guy's dick off, and I killed him too. So there was hope. Did you die too, Josh? Dead, bro. He, I, I saw him shoot at you, and then he just flicked on me and killed me. <sighs> the play car and everything gone, man. I'm not gonna lie, bro. He lo I moved really far right. Um, I flanked all the way around right, and I was behind buildings the full time. But he, it was kind of like he knew where I was in any ways, bro. Hmm. Are you close to base, Josh? You hella close. The bodies are all stripped, but totally naked. Like, totally stripped naked. Bodies are stripped in the end. That's nice. He found my bag as well. He opened the door and found my bag. Oh my god. Okay, there is no way they could have taken all of the clothing and just... Forget. I mean, everything on my body was gone. Everything on that guy's body that I killed was what gone. Mine? All you had was just... Pa the oh. hair again, no. I'm getting shot at. I'm getting shot at, Josh. Suppress, suppress. 
Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. I have no idea where. Fuck my life, bro. Is it, are you dead as well? Yeah, yeah, he just one top me, bro. Yeah, shooting at me now as well. Yo, you wanna talk? You wanna talk to me? Hello? What do you want? What's going on, bro? Uh, are you are you okay? Who? Why? Ah, oh, dude. After dying twice to the same group, we weren't happy. Losing all that time and progress is one thing, but when you lose it to a group playing dishonestly, it's a real kick in the teeth. With little else for us to do though, we looked back at our footage and we ended up finding these two names. We then reported them to the staff and we waited patiently, hoping for a response. I'm not going back there until they're that sorted and they're gone. So he's just killed another guy, like, yeah, what's I, I, going on? 100 meters as well. Yo, someone killed him, what? Really? Yeah, yeah, I see that. That was like two meters away as well. Please, please kill the other. Please kill the other. Please kill yeah. Admiral Black. Wait, please kill Admiral... Yo! Yes! <laughs> Is he cheating or was that an admin? There's no way, yeah, there's no way a guy just kills all of them like right away like that. There's One off no the other, way. off the other. Yeah, there's no way because they please. did exactly that to us. Please be an admin. Oh shit! They banned him! No way. Yeah. Thanks to the server admins, their whole team was banned for cheating and association. But that wasn't enough for us. We knew for a fact these guys had to have a base nearby. And we wanted to find it and make sure they would never come back to the server. And as we were returning to base, we might have found where they'd been living all along. Oh, hold on. Okay, wait, I might have found it. I've, this is a building I've not even ever seen before. What the hell? No way it's right here. There's no way we weren't past this. Bro, there's been a building here this whole time. I'm not even joking. It's right here. This has to be it. But for a group that size, then it's got to be here. Yeah. And this would, this would make sense. This would be where they probably ran. Oh, mate. This has to be it. And it's active as well. Surely that has to be them. I right, sure, guys. <gasps> Wait a minute. M4? Ooh. <gasps> I don't know. Yeah, I'm here. I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, I couldn't get him, bro. Oh, I just. What do? Bro, this is my M4! <gasps> wait, wait. This is the M4 I had, dude. Okay, I okay. promise you, I promise you, this is the M4 I had. <laughs> And it's just lying there, like, this has got to be their base, guys. This has to be. Yeah, we got, Josh, we got everything we need to raid this base. We got the answers we needed. The raised flag meant it was an active base. The location as well was in the same direction we'd seen them run to and from. And the icing on the cake, an M4 almost identical to the one I had before dying, was just sitting in the compound of their base. At this point, the evidence they'd lived here was overwhelming. So later that day, we each grabbed a bag filled with raid supplies, and once Tommy logged on, we went back there to completely wipe that cheater group off the server and make sure there was no chance they'd ever come back. That's it. Here we go. Here Let's we go. go. Let's see the loot. Let's go. <laughs> oh, so much food. Oh, oh my god. Nades, claymores. The nails. Nice nails. The they have two claymores here. Where, where's the claymores? Here, ah. they have claymores here, mate. Nice. Let's go. See the Let's guns? Go. Oh my god, the guns. Let's, Let's go. go. It's on the gun cabinet. <gasps> more guns here. Yeah, a couple more guns here and ammo. What's in this? 
I think this is building supplies. <gasps> the nails! <laughs> Have you guys seen the nails? <gasps> oh my gosh, the food! <laughs> five, five, six. <gasps> oh! There's a, there's a, there was a frying pan full of shotgun ammo, mate. I sounded like I went for a deep dive right there. Shotgun yeah, ammo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how you take out a cheater base, eh? What a raid that was, man. <laughs> Flipping out. We each grabbed an inventory of their best loot and began transporting it back to our base. We then filled up our storage as best as we could, followed by transporting all of the storage from their base to ours, throwing it down wherever there was space. Nice. And eventually, we just about transferred everything left of value from their base, and we could leave it to decay for good. And with no one left to bother us, we could finish what we started. Our bloody time we've done this. Okay, build gate. Okay. You ready? Yeah. <gasps> That's so crazy. That crazy. Actually insane, bro. Nice. We are secure, baby. That's so cool. It was almost complete. We just had to fill in the final gaps to seal us in. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, we reached Endgame. We had enough supplies to raid any base, enough nails to take over the entire town, we had boxes of mags, every slot of our gun racks filled, we had everything we would ever need inside of this base. We'd essentially reached the peak of what the server had to offer, and to be honest, there wasn't much of a reason for us to stay anymore. Except for one. There was one last thing left to do on the server, and it's something I'd been meaning to do since the very beginning. That toxic group that killed me at the very beginning of this story. The group I wanted vengeance on, but couldn't. Well, before I logged off the server for good, I was going to get that vengeance. But first, it was someone I had to meet. Should be here somewhere. Hello? Mickey? Oh. Yo, is it you, Mick? Yo! Bro, let's get out of here quickly. Let's just go. Let's, uh, my base is literally just over this way, mate. Here we go. Okay, yeah, come inside here, man. Ah, so this is, uh, <laughs> this is where I've been living. <laughs> Hard to pay weapons on this too. Yeah, bro, we have a, we have. I mean, I'll show you the base upstairs in a minute. But um, you know, I started on the server and I got killed by those two guys. And you know, after dying those times and like just being a solo, I just, I honestly just had no hope to be honest to, to raid them. So I decided to run in one more time, and that's when I met you guys. And we came up with this idea to then we can meet up again and then try and raid them. But to be honest, like meeting you guys actually made it a lot. It kind of gave me like a reason to, to keep going to be fair, so um... Now, I ended up showing Mickey around our base, along with the boxes upon boxes of loot we'd amassed, and of course, he was lost for words. But what I was trying to explain to him was that he played a much bigger role in all of this than he realised. When I had nothing as a solo, all my friends were offline, and when I had no hope I'd ever be able to raid that group, without even knowing me, Mickey offered to help. And that gave me purpose. If I think about it, even when I decided to quit the server for good, they were why I got back on. All this time I'd spent grinding on the server, the massive trip to land here, all of it, without realising it was because of our plan to take on that toxic group and get my vengeance. So that's what we were going to do. We were going to take on that group. I told Mickey to grab the best weapons he could find, I then gathered all the raid supplies we'd built up throughout this adventure, and for the last time, I got all the boys on for one last ride. 
almost all of us had loaded into the server, and we started combining everything that would contribute to the raid. And eventually, we left our base for good. Alright, let's get this place down. Let's go. Finally, bro. Oh my god. Okay, this apartment works really well here. Yeah, yeah, this should do. So should we put that door here? Yeah. After securing a raid base, Mickey's other friend Carl arrived to help too. Yo. Carl? Hey, Carl. Alright mate, come up here. I also invited another friendly guy I'd met on the server called Juiced. And by this point, there was no more preparation needed. We were all ready to do this. Are right, you guys ready? Let's do it, let's do it. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Ready, boy? Let's go, baby. This is good. There it is. I already see a freshie over there. Yeah, bro, this this is a this is the gotta be the biggest base on the server, man. No doubt, right? This oh, is no. big, bro. I'd this say, is uh... fucking huge. Okay, I think I, I I know a way of getting in, mate. I know a way of getting in here. <gasps> yes. I got it. I got it. I'm breaking. Okay. Oh, yes, yes. Come through, come through, come through. We reached their compound, but we needed to find a way to their front door. And we found a risky route that could skip all of the front gates. <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> you can do it, you can do it. There's so many guns on this gun ramp right here, bro. There's so many. I just need, um, I need Tommy here. I need Tommy here. Okay. Okay, Tommy, now you've got to get on top of me and then you gotta crouch in front of me. Yep. Yeah, a bit further forward. Okay. I'm good, I made it, I made it, I made it. Let's go bro. <laughs> good shit, Tommy. After a bit of parkour, we made it to their front gate, and it was time to actually start raiding. So we started by hacksawing their first gate, and once we'd made it past that, we moved on to our explosives. Okay. Okay, I've got the detonator, alright? You guys ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Go for it, Josh. This is why you don't flip and kill fresh one, baby. Yeah. 